Do you all have a cockatiel? It's a cocktail in classical music, didn't you hear? For those of you just tuning in, I'm tuning the piano. There's no one watching yet. <clears throat> begin in a few moments. Just warming up the piano before Sister Gwen abuses it. Do you have an adult beverage or another beverage of choice? The concert will be starting in a few moments. All right. Well, I am Sister Rita Book. Welcome to Sister Gwen Plays. Yay! Hello, Facebook Live. Hello, Twitch. This is Sister Gwen Plays. Tonight, Sister Gwen Plays Beethoven. I'm Sister Rita, Sister Rita Book, fully professed member of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence. I've been trapped in a refrigerator box for the past month, and Sister Gwen has allowed me out to introduce her for her concert this evening that she's been working so hard for to entertain you all socially distanced and safe. I don't know much about what she's gonna play. I've heard it from my refrigerator box. I know she's gonna play two pieces and we'll have a little break in the middle and I'll try to monitor the comments and things and see if anyone has stuff to say. And Without further ado, Sister Rita, I mean, Sister Gwen, end out! Hello, everyone. I'm going to start tonight with Beethoven's Sonata Number no. 1 in F minor.
And that was Beethoven's first piano sonata in F minor. Um, Sister Rita, yes. since you were wondering what a sonata is. Yeah, what is that? I never done that classical music thing. What's a sonata, sister? A sonata is a very common form in classical music, especially in uh, earlier music, so Bach, Mozart, and Beethoven. Um, it's typically in three or four movements. That last piece had four different movements. Each one kind of has its own unique character, but they all tie together. They're either in the same key or they have a similar feel to them. Um, and this was the first sonata that Beethoven ever wrote. Um, and what's interesting about it to me is that this sonata sounds a lot more like some of Mozart's music um, as Mozart in his later years overlapped with Beethoven in his earlier years. Um, the next piece I'm going to play for you is a much better known sonata of Beethoven's that's called the Moonlight Sonata. Uh, many of you have probably heard this one before. Um, and this one comes from much later in Beethoven's writing career, and it has a, a much more distinctly romantic feel to it. So it's, it's a little less structured and a little more uh, emotional and a little more passionate. Um, and so I bring to you Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. And <clears throat> you're getting lots of love, lots of folks oh, tuning wonderful. in. Melanie Peters Paisley. Hi, Mel. Laura Payne. Hi, Lil LP. Jay. Hi, Cher. Jay. Cher. Lots of folks. So many wonderful people. Stephanie, I'm on so glad you're Twitch. all here. And uh, they're asking, are you taking requests? Probably not tonight, but maybe for the future. Yeah, I I've prepared two pieces that I'm currently able to play, and I'm working on a few others that I'm going to do a future performance of. Um, but if you have specific requests, I will see if they are something within my wheelhouse or that I have the music for so that I could learn them. For a future evening. Username Michael Vegas is requesting piano sonata number 13 in E flat major, which is probably Beethoven. I'm, I'm guessing Beethoven. Let's see if I even have that. Number 13 in E flat. It does appear that I have the music for that one. It so starts perhaps... like this and then has a lot of really fast notes. <laughs> that I can't play yet. So perhaps a future. But yeah, for a future Sister concert, Gwen I can play plays. That. All right. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in. I'm so glad you're here, and I hope you're enjoying it. And here we go with the Moonlight Sonata.
was Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata, as accompanied by doorbell. Um, for those that aren't aware, the doorbell is not actually in the original uh, orchestration or in the original score. Um, it, it's a, an artistic choice that I made um, by specifying for FedEx the exact precise moment that we wanted a box delivered. Um, as you can imagine, it's very difficult to choreograph. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we've literally been waiting for that package all day long, and I was like, I know, I know they're gonna show up while I'm playing piano, like in that narrow window. But anyway. but everyone says bravo. <laughs> Thank you. I Damn, hope... that was amazing. Thank you, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed. Regarding the first sonata, that was sonata number one. Sonata number one in F minor. Sharon Rosen says that was beautiful. The the mixed six against four is hard. Yes, it is. <laughs> and Sharon Rosen is a, a music teacher, so she knows. She says, bravo. Oh, thank Encore you, Sharon my Rosen. Busendorf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time I'll play it on your Busendorfer. When we're allowed to. When we, when we can see you again. See each other again. <laughs> I would love that. So that was Sonata number one. The first one was Sonata number one, and this is Sonata number 14, the Moonlight Sonata. Everyone really loved that last movement because it's I very exciting. I love and that last movement. Impressive. It's very exciting. Uh, and there's so many notes, and they happen quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Very well done, Sister Gwen. Yes, well, thankfully, I had a wonderful metronome to practice with, and we'll be oh, uh, yeah. sharing some of the outtake footage of the metronomic practicing later. We'll, we'll release outtakes of rehearsals. Yes. We had a dress rehearsal this morning, and it was quite exciting. You'll see outtakes. Sister <laughs> Gwen will post a video. And then, do, do you all want to see this again? Would you like to see Sister Gwen plays again? The comments aren't actually live. There's actually a delay with comments. But everyone says, yes, they would love to see it again. <laughs> do you plan on doing another Sister Gwen? I do. Um, I'll probably spend another couple weeks learning a few more pieces. And then I should be able to do another one maybe in a couple weeks. Um, I don't know exactly when yet. But 
probably around early May sometime. I'll plan on doing another stream um, with some new music. Or if I don't learn any new music in time, you might hear the same thing again. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Awesome. <laughs> and also, um, who are you? Your sister Gwen and Dowd. Well, I'm Sister Gwen and Dowd. I'm a fully professed member of the San Diego Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and part of the Asylum of the Tortured Heart. It's fitting that I'm in an asylum because I've sort of been angling that way my whole life. <laughs> um, but we are we are an order of queer nuns worldwide. We're part of the San Diego house, but there are nuns across the world that are part of our order. And our mission is very simply to spread joy and absolve guilt. So my hope is that you got some joy out of listening to the music today. Um, and it broke up the the day for you of, of otherwise just sitting around watching Netflix or what what not. And keep um, a lookout for what the sisters are putting out. The San Diego sisters have a lot of resources on their social media mm -hmm. and website, yes. blog posts coming out. Our website can be found at www.sdsisters.org. Um, and as Rita mentioned, there's a lot of resources on there. Um, if you look, if you look up the San Diego Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence on Facebook, you can find our page there. Um, and our mistress of, uh, propaganda? Is that Donatella's? Our mistress of something, Donatella, is, um, has been actively sharing things on our page with resources, um, you know, that are necessary in our current situation, um, Places like relief funds that have been started, um, places you can go if, if there's something that you need, um, you know, if you're out of work, there's a lot of services available to help you right now. And we're trying to actively share those as we learn about them um, to, to help you all stay informed and connected. And, um, and services about uh, like things to do while you're quarantined, yeah. how to deal with quarantine. I have a blog post coming out. Keep a lookout for it about how you can read and look at Popeye videos and stuff like that. Oh, I get it, because your sister read a book. I am indeed. I, I finally get it. That's wonderful. And I know there's a blog post up there already from Sister Kali that talks about taking care of our mental health in moments like this um, and some of the things that, you know, we're maybe not used to thinking about, but we do need to take an active approach in um, keeping ourselves healthy right now. Um, and she had some very good tips on on that blog post yeah. that we also shared. And sisters around the world are coming up with ways to do ministry digitally. I believe uh, Sister... Well, there's a Sister Variety Show in the works. Yeah. I don't know any specifics about it yet, but um, I'm going to be participating in that. There's going to be a lot of sisters oh. doing... You know, performances, lip syncs, singing, I forget. playing. What's her sister name? Sister Fancy Pants. Sister Fancy Pants. Just putting that together. Yes. Um, alongside um, a sister from France who um, was sick but has since recovered from COVID-19 um, and is, you know, and so the two of them have come together to work on putting together a way of keeping us all connected and entertained right now. So watch my page for further details on that. Be you can check out the San Diego info. Sisters on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, yeah, and yeah. everyone stay six feet away from each other. If you're in the grocery store and you can't stay six feet away from each other, wear a mask. Uh, and the crazier looking your mask and your outfit is, the easier it is to keep people six feet away from you. Trust, mm -hmm. we know. We'll, we look forward to uh, getting back in, in touch literally with you all, live yeah. in person when it's safe. want to give you all hugs and smooches. All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in, and I'll see you all soon. We love you all. Love you. Joy, joy, joy. Joy. cat meowing through it was a real nice touch too. I don't know if the microphone picked that up. Yes, you oh, just it definitely did. Had to have